The Hubble Space Telescope was put into a low Earth orbit in 1990. If you think about it, it's had over 30 years of experience looking at various space objects. It was named after astronomer Edwin Hubble and was built by NASA. It is also part of a group of devices called NASA's Great Observatories, along with the Compton Gamma Ray Observatory, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, and the Spitzer Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope was built to explore the universe and answer some of its biggest questions, such as how galaxies form and evolve, and how the universe itself has changed over time. The telescope has made many important discoveries, including providing evidence of the existence of dark matter and helping to determine the rate of expansion of the universe. One of the most famous images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope is the Pillars of Creation. It's a photo of a region of the Eagle Nebula, where new stars are born. The photo, which was taken in 1995, shows massive pillars of gas and dust towering above the nebula. It has become one of the most iconic images of the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope continues to operate and make important scientific discoveries, despite some initial technical difficulties. In 1993, a problem with the telescope's main mirror was discovered, which affected its ability to focus light properly. A repair mission was sent to the telescope in 1994 to fix the problem. And since then, the telescope has continued to work perfectly. One of the more interesting discoveries made by this amazing telescope is actually pretty recent. A report based on the data from the Hubble Space Telescope shows that there is a faint glow in space around the solar system that cannot be explained by anything we know to exist. Because they have yet to figure out the source, astronomers call this mysterious glow ghost light. We don't know that this light is not coming from the stars or galaxies near the solar system, nor is it coming from dust on the solar system's plane. The researchers aren't sure what the source of the light is, but they think it might be tiny particles of dust and ice left by comets. But it's only a theory that has not yet been confirmed. When we study the universe, we often find bright things like planets, stars, and galaxies. But from time to time, we discover some light coming from places where we didn't expect to see it, like from between planets. This light may be coming from deep within our solar system, and it may be a new phenomenon that hasn't been studied before. In other words, there may be something at the center of our galaxy that produces a lot of light. Spacecraft Voyager 1 also captured images showing a lot of light coming from the edge of our solar system. How come we haven't noticed this until now? Well, because most of the light in pictures taken by the Hubble telescope comes from things close to Earth. But people usually ignore this light because they're interested in things like stars and galaxies that are farther away. We've never actually looked closely at the amount of light in the universe and where it comes from. Scientists have been using the Hubble to find faint galaxies that may have been missed before and which may be the source of this dim glow. They found that there are not enough such galaxies to account for extra light in the sky. It's not a lot of light, though. It's like the glow from 10 fireflies. But it doesn't make it less important. It shows that we may be missing something. Let's look at some other important discoveries we've made with the help of Hubble. Like dark matter, which we can't see but know is there because of its effect on gravity. It makes up for about 23% of the universe. By looking at how it affects light, the Hubble telescope helped make 3D maps of where dark matter is. These maps show that dark matter seems to be getting clumpier over time, which means it behaves very similarly to how gravity does. The Hubble telescope also discovered two new moons around Pluto, named Nix and Hydra, and studied the dwarf planet's changing surface. Additionally, it's found the mass of planet Eris, which is larger than Pluto. This helps scientists realize there may be similar objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region outside our solar system. This led to Pluto being reclassified as a dwarf planet. Further observations of these distant objects could help us understand the evolution of our solar system. Gamma-ray bursts are the most powerful explosions in the universe. And for a long time, no one knew where they had been coming from. Hubble helped us find out that these bursts happen in galaxies, producing a lot of stars and having few heavy elements. 
This suggests that gamma-ray bursts happen when big stars collapse into black holes. These galaxies have lots of big stars that fall apart quickly, and the stars there don't have much heavy stuff, so they can turn into black holes. In 1994, the Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet collided with Jupiter. Hubble captured the whole event in detail, like a resourceful journalist. The impact broke the comet into a lot of small pieces, which resulted in 21 other visible collisions. The largest impact created a fireball and a dark spot on Jupiter's surface. Hubble's observations not only sparked public interest in cosmic impacts, but also provided new insights into Jupiter's atmosphere. To move forward with our list of discoveries made by the Hubble telescope, we also need to talk about black holes. There are points in space where gravity has so much force that even light cannot escape it. The gravity becomes so strong that matter gets squeezed into a very small space. We know that this can happen when a star, like the Sun, nears the end of its life. At the beginning of its life, a star's hydrogen ignites in its dense hot core. Because of gravity, it tries to draw its own mass into a tiny point. As long as it has the energy generated by the hydrogen fusion, it also pushes outward. If we look at it this way, the life of a star depends on a delicate balance between these forces, and it can last millions or even billions of years. Once that energy is exhausted, the only force remaining is that of gravity. So, some stars become black holes. Since light itself cannot escape its pull, we can't visualize black holes. For the human eye, they are invisible. We need special tools and unique telescopes to help us point them out in the universe. Hubble found that most galaxies with a central bulge of stars likely have supermassive black holes. It also noticed a strong connection between the size of these black holes and their host galaxies, which might help us understand how the universe has changed over time. Then, what is a supermassive black hole, you might ask? Go ahead, ask it. It is a very large black hole that is typically found at the center of a galaxy. It is millions or even billions of times more massive than our Sun. These black holes are so powerful that they can swallow stars and even entire galaxies. Scientists are still exploring these mysterious objects, but they believe that they play a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Now, before Hubble, we really didn't know how old the universe was. It often led to weird paradoxes, like the one where stars discovered by astronomers were older than the universe itself. But by figuring out the approximate rate at which the universe is expanding, Hubble helped us narrow down its age, which is about 13.75 billion years. Trying to figure out the exact age of the universe is an important question. That's because most astronomers think that the universe has not existed forever, but appeared in one really hot and dense fireball called the Big Bang. I wasn't around then. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.